Hi, hello, how are <laughs> I never know how to start these. Hey, it's Matt. Uh, and that's right, as the title suggests, it's been four months, a little over four months since I've had nothing but a lot of carbonated water. Can you hear that? Sweet bubbly. A lot of coffee, some soda, regular water, orange juice, lemonade, everything but alcohol. Um, I stopped four months ago because a few months before that, I told my wife that uh, if, she, if, if and when she got pregnant, because we were thinking about having kids at some point, I would not drink with her for the nine months of pregnancy. Because when I was getting this tattoo on my arm, family that way, forever that way, I'll show it to you someday, uh, the tattoo artist said that his wife was pregnant currently and he wasn't drinking as a way uh, to show her um, just to, to go through it with her. So I, I always thought that was, was cool. Well, I was 21 at the time, so I was like, mm, I don't know if I'd ever do that. But now that I'm 33, I sounded like a great idea. I respected it. So I told Leah that I would do it with her. And like two months after I told her that we got pregnant. So here we are four months later now, no alcohol at all. And I'm not going to lie. It was tough at the start really hard because I probably hadn't gone more than a day or two, um, without a drink since I turned 21 years old. That's not true. Maybe a month, the longest I ever went without a drink when I was doing the Daniel fast with my sister. But that was the longest I had ever gone without a drink from 21 to 33, 32. So it was tough at first. The first few days were brutal. The first month itself was a lot harder, harder than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, I thought about drinking after work, especially on the weekends, especially at events. Those were really hard. But thankfully, was able to power through. And now four months later, I am not thinking about it too much. Even at events, even at, a, at bars, concerts, it really is just kind of on the back burner now. I'm like, hmm, could take it or leave it. So... Um, yeah, if you're in the same boat, I don't know, thinking about stopping drinking for a while or not drinking or assessing your relationship with alcohol, I think it's a great thing to do because I feel really good. Actually, I feel uh, like I'm 21 again uh, at 33. My workouts have increased. I feel like I'm lifting better and heavier than I ever have before, recovering better. Um, Sleep uh, still kind of getting there, but uh, that's probably because other issues like caffeine and stuff I have to work on. But at least I don't have to worry about hangovers on top of not sleeping very well. Um, I've just felt more mental clarity, more focused, and it's been really good, really great. So uh, I don't know if you have any questions, I, I'll try to help out as much as I can. But I would just say if you're thinking about not drinking go for it. Um, I don't know if I'll drink again after the new year, after we have our child, um, right away, at least I might, but I know I'm not going to drink like I was before because it, uh, it was a problem. I was drinking too much, uh, too often. And so I'm glad I took this step back and was able to assess my relationship with alcohol. So if you're thinking about doing the same, um, let me know. Good luck. And I would say go for it. So, um, I'll check back when you uh, check back in here with you in five months. See how I'm feeling. All right, have a great rest of the day, everybody. Talk soon.